and back around to my Valentine Astoria. Hello and welcome. I'm Akram Tagavi Burris, and you're watching Akram's Ideas, bringing creative and crazy ideas to life. I am sharing with you today a pattern review of the Astoria sweater from Seamwork. Now you may be familiar with this pattern. It's been around for quite a while. It's a staple in many individuals wardrobes. Um, I've had the pattern like forever and only this last fall got around to actually making it and oh my gosh I am so glad I did. I absolutely love it. Um, in fact I made my Valentine's outfit um, using this pattern. So just to give you some details about the pattern itself, it comes in sizes, um, it, it comes, it's a knit pattern obviously, so it starts with smalls to like up, upper extra large, double extra large. Um, the actual bust measurements come in from 33 inches all the way up to 54 inches and the waist measurements come from 25 inches all the way up to 46 inches. It does have a hip measurement on the pattern but it does it's sort of negligible because it's it's meant to be a cropped pattern and set higher up on uh, above your hip so um, that shouldn't be an issue. The um, seamwork patterns are meant for a C size cup size, so that's a, a larger range as well, making it easier, especially uh, for me who is actually a D size, I can get away with smaller adjustments uh, with that. So basically to get to this point which i think is the perfect fit i made a few um astoria sweaters starting last fall um and gradually improving upon them until i was able to get this one out this is my first astoria sweater and i made it in this lovely apricot um, apricot orange, I guess you could say, uh, cotton jersey. I had a little bit of this jersey left after making a cardigan, and I decided to make this Astoria sweater, sort of as a tester version. I actually made this one back in November, I think it was. And after looking at the pattern measurements, my measurements fell between a size large and extra large. I knew that I needed the extra large all around the waist and I also knew that the Astoria sweater or seamwork uh, patterns in general are made for a C size cup and currently I'm a D size cup. So while I fell into the size large, I was concerned that maybe I would need a little more room around the bust area just to accommodate the, the fuller bust. And since I was grading out to the large anyways, I just sort of started that grade a little bit higher up. So at the bust area, it's about a quarter inch that I added uh, to the pattern. And as I came down to the waist, I added a full inch at the waist. So in total, I added uh, two inches for the entire sweater at the waist and a total of Actually, that's a lie. That would be a total of four inches around the waist uh, from the size large. That would lead me up to an extra large. And then a quarter inch at the bust times four. That's a full inch around the bust area. And I think that worked pretty well. For the most part, I cut the size large every place else, around the shoulders, around the neckline, um, and then I cut the extra large arm side uh, just to give me more room in the arms and sleeve. So the sleeve is a full extra large. Uh, I didn't do anything different to the sleeve pattern but cut the extra large. And then of course, like I said, I put the extra large arm side onto basically the large top. I did bring in the shoulders a little bit, but as you can see, they kind of still fall off. So I knew for my next one that I was going to have to bring the shoulders in a little bit more. As far as the length goes, I cut the length for the size large. This includes the um, little band here at the bottom. And um, 
basically for this one I cut it at the length as is and as you can see the seam for where the band is sits just above my natural waist it's a little high um, and then the band itself sets kind of weirdly in the above my belly button but below my waist it's just kind of a weird location now i had watched some reviews on the astori sweater especially uh the one by bianca from vintage on tap she recorded one uh, a couple of years ago and mentioned how cropped the sweater was and how she had to extend links to it and so in the back of my mind i knew that i kind of wanted to add links to it but i thought oh let's just cut it as is and see what happens um, since, well, since I'm typically pretty short, I thought, well, maybe I can get away with it. But after looking at this one, and while it does work, especially if you're wearing high-waisted um, skirt and whatnot, it looks fine. Uh, but I thought that it would be better if I added more links to it uh, just a little bit. So the two big concerns that I had with this one, as I said, was that the shoulders were a little large. Uh, they came off. A little bit more uh, on my shoulder and then I wanted to add more links so after making this one I made a another one this is my third Astoria sweater and as you can see already this one is longer so I use the same um, adjustments that I've made in the past so again three quarters from the shoulder original shoulder seam uh, size large extra large at the arms um, grading out to an extra large at the waist and so forth but for this one I actually added one and a half inches of length and I added that to the main body so that the band would be the exact same width and everything so just about right here I just added uh, an inch and a half I probably could have gotten away with two inches total but I just did a one and a half inches I think it works pretty well um, I really like where everything is sitting the uh, seam for the band is actually below my waist and I think it just it just has a really nice set to it I think I'm really happy with it I went back to the long sleeves on this one I made this one I think at the very end of January and uh, this is a cotton jersey with a lovely little print done in that kind of puff paint uh, type um, material and this was just something in my stash that I thrifted uh, along with all the other fabrics uh, so this one is absolutely lovely. I love the pink. One of my favorite things about the Astoria sweater is the neckline. I think it is such a flattering neckline. I just absolutely love it. It's the pseudo boat neck, pseudo slash neck. I don't even know how to describe it, but I just absolutely love the neckline. Um, I like the fold over um, sleeves versus adding a cuff I think it makes it a little bit more dressy than if you had had a cuff that maybe looks a little bit more casual or um, sporty well I do like the sort of band at the bottom too because I think it gives it a little bit more nipped in look I guess you could say I'm not really sure but overall I was ecstatic with this um, pattern I think this one uh, was the most perfect fit that I'd gotten out of the ones that I had made thus far. So I had pretty much set the Astoria sort of in my um, pattern, in my sewing room, just setting there to the side because I knew that I was gonna end up making more of these because I just love the look of this pattern so much. And when you know, I ended up making one more. And back around to my Valentine Astoria, which I whipped up uh, just a week or two before Valentine's. This lovely fabric came from Walmart, of all places. It was one of their three yards for a dollar bundles. It is a French terry with this beautiful um, sucker print on it. And the suckers have little hearts and, of course, just regular suckers as well. I thought the whole candy heart theme was perfect for Valentine's. Now, I actually have this fabric in two colorways. I purchased it originally in a white colorway, and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. Uh, while the pinks and purples are in my color scheme, a uh, white is not exactly 100% 
the best color on me especially when it's a stark white and the because of the white contrast and everything it just seemed more of a summertime fabric it just seemed more of a light fabric uh, versus something that maybe had long sleeves. So then I had ended up going back to Walmart or just, you know, perusing, getting groceries, and I found that they had it in this uh, sort of uh, ash gray, which is a lovely color on me. It's not too dark. It's sort of a medium gray, and I scooped it up right then and there, and I knew immediately I wanted to make an Astoria, and so that's what I did. I made an Astoria sweater. I didn't make any changes from the the last one that I made, the, the pink one. I did exactly the same thing. I even used the long sleeves on this one. Again, size large, gradient to extra large, extra large with the arm side, um, the three-fourths inch uh, shoulder reduction, and then the one and a half inch um, length increase. I do feel like this one is slightly longer, and I think it's because this is a French terry versus the other ones being a cotton jersey. I think this one just, um, has more drape and a pull to it, so it just feels like it's a little bit, uh, longer down. But, uh, this is so buttery soft, if you could feel it, it is just absolutely beautiful. I had three yards of this, so of course I made myself a matching skirt to go with it. Um, this is actually the Sybil Swing Skirt. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, uh, but I'll talk more about the Sybil Skirt in another video. But overall, I absolutely love this Astoria sweater. Um, I actually love all of my Astoria sweaters. I've been wearing them quite frequently. I love it because it's kind of this in-between type uh, sweater. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's kind of perfect for um, cooler days like in the autumn or springtime as we're moving into spring soon. Um, but we've actually had a really mild winter as well. So it's been a great type of long sleeve um, garment to wear. Um, wear under a cardigan or something and then still be cozy if you need to take it off it's just absolutely lovely I know that I'm going to make a ton more Astoria sweaters I still can't believe it's taking me this long to make this sweater um, if you've got a hold of a seam work subscription or, or if you have the seam work Astoria pattern uh, do yourself a favor and pull it out. Try to make it out. Like I said, the fitting adjustments were pretty straightforward uh, as, as far as for me. I don't feel like they were too difficult to do. I could probably do a forward shoulder adjustment on this because the seam is kind of pointing to the back and I typically have to do that. I don't know if I will. I'm kind of lazy. I've already made the other adjustments. I don't know if I want to make any others. It's not a big deal. Um, otherwise, everything else is absolutely perfect. I love to hear if you've made anything special for Valentine's. And uh, if you've made the Astoria sweater or if you've got another similar type of garment uh, pattern that you think is comparable to the Astoria sweater, you think that I should try out. Because like I said, I absolutely love this pattern and will be making a ton more. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Occam's Ideas, and thanks for watching.